Hey everyone, this is Key, and for those of you who follow my blog or even my YouTube channel, you'll know that I am really big on skincare because I think that taking care of your skin is way more important than applying any sort of makeup at all. And if you have a good canvas to start on, any type of makeup will look pretty decent whether or not you have skills at applying the makeup. So recently, I've been really, really into skincare, even more than I have been in the past because I've noticed that my skin has changed a little bit since I've moved to Seattle. I'm just, I have a ton of skincare products, everything from Lancome and Dior and like Purity from Philosophy. I don't have all the products here with me. I just have a few of the ones that I use that I keep at my boyfriend's house, but I have a ton of high-end skincare products. and. I started using Estee Lauder when I was 12 and moved on to Shiseido when I was 14 and so I've really been familiar with the high-end um, skincare products. And I've always been a big fan of pretty, you know, natural products. I'm not so much into like salicylic acid. I've never really had acne problems growing up, luckily, thanks to genetics, I think. But I've always really stuck to things like cleansing milks and cleansing oils and nothing too harsh or abrasive. But recently I've noticed they're not acne but I think they're what's called congestion or clogged pores. And it's very very difficult to cleanse when you have clogged pores because you can use a very good cleanser, very expensive, you can get the best moisturizer in the world but because your pore is clogged with dead skin, it's clogged with dirt, um, impurities of all sorts, excessive oil from your skin, the best moisturizer may not even be useful when you apply it because your skin just does not absorb it. So clogged pores are a pretty big deal and I didn't know how to get rid of them. I tried a ton of different brands. I tried um, Kiehl's cleansers and you know, stuck to my regular Lancome cleansing milk for a very long time, uh, changed to Purity by Philosophy. I got this huge bottle from Sephora because I was like, this is it. The Sephora um, professional was like, I swear by this stuff. But honestly, what has helped me a ton with my skin to overcome these clogged pores is sadly a product that I don't currently own, although I will go out and get it as soon as I can. Um, I have a sample of it that I've used for the past two weeks, a very generous amount, a sample that a Sephora professional gave me, and that is the DDF glycolic treatment. So DDF, the company, was founded by, I believe, a New York City dermatologist, and the brand debuted in the U.S. in 1998 and was actually acquired by Procter & Gamble, the pharmaceutical company, um, in 2007. But it is a great product and I'm totally sewed on it. I have used their cleanser, which is 5% glycolic acid, and I've also used their moisturizer, which I believe is 10% glycolic acid. And I was very, very hesitant about using this product at first because I don't like harsh chemicals, like any sort of peels, any sort of chemicals, any sort of even masks I don't I'm not a big fan of I'm just really into being pure with the ingredients and no parabens and things like that if possible and so I was very very hesitant to use this product and I got a little sample of it and for those of you who aren't familiar with the brand I definitely wasn't too familiar with it DDF stands for doctor's dermological formula so basically I went home and being you know a uh, science major when I was in college, I looked up what glycolic acid was and in a nutshell it is part of the same family as alpha hydroxy acids and when I read that I was like, oh I don't want to put that on my skin, but reading more about it, what it is, is basically it acts as like a chemical exfoliator. Normally I use, so this is the exfoliator that I swear by, this is the mint julep natural facial scrub and I really like it and so you just it's basically like your normal exfoliator it kind of feels like a little bit like sand when you put it on um, but glycolic acid serves to be a chemical exfoliator and so you put it on and it just feels like a normal oil cleanser actually or a foaming cleanser 
but what it's actually doing is stripping the dead skin cells, just the upper epidermis, the part that's just dead and clogging your pores, away from the bottom layer, which is new skin, which then helps the moisturizer that you put on afterwards get absorbed a lot more quickly and a lot more efficiently. And the other unknown, well, I don't know if it's unknown, I thought it was unknown, benefit of glycolic acid is that it actually hinders wrinkles and it has anti-wrinkle properties for prevention. And so when I was at Sephora, the, the lady who was helping me actually said it's very good to use it in your 20s and even your 30s before the wrinkles start to appear because it does have a lot of anti-wrinkle properties. So let me tell you a little bit of the routine that I go through. I only use this at night um, because I feel like it's too harsh to use twice a day and I don't actually know if it's too harsh. I guess I'm just staying with what works because if this works, like why overdo it, right? So I use the 5% exfoliating glycolic acid cleanser. I think it's 8 ounces for a bottle that's $35, which is comparable to the Lancome cleansing milk that I currently use. And I use that only at night. So I just put just a dime size onto my cheeks and I don't put it around my eyes because I don't want any harsh chemicals around my eyes. Just on my cheeks and on my forehead, anywhere there's just a little bit of a bump of a clogged pore I put right there. And it has a little bit of a minty feel, so it feels really good. It feels like it's actually working, and I just really gently smooth it on. And then I um, rinse it off. And then right after that, I actually put the 10% glycolic acid moisturizer onto my face. Just a little bit of it also. Just one pump, actually. It comes in a little pump, so it's actually very hygienic. But I use that just on my cheeks, the same thing. And then, if necessary, because I don't think it's that moisturizing, the product, I will layer on this moisturizer, which I absolutely love for just keeping my skin really hydrated. And this is the Dior... Pro Youth Comfort Cream. There's two types, uh, the exact same packaging. The only word that's different, I think one says like sorbet and then the other one says a comfort cream. And so I always get the comfort cream because I have really, really dry skin and this works miracles, but that's a different story. So I put this after I put the 10% glycolic acid. I hope that you guys will check it out if you have any sort of clogged pores problems. Don't be scared. I have very, very sensitive skin and I have really reactive skin, if that's a word. But I did a lot of research on the company and they're really, really good for anti-wrinkle prevention. Um, they're very good for like rosacea, hyperpigmentation, just a lot of the daily skin issues that often gets neglected. Like acne gets treated, I feel like, quite a lot. There are so many products out there for acne, but what about the other little issues that we have with our skin, right? Like clogged pores, for example, you know, you can wake up and you run your hands on your skin and it just feels awful. The texture just doesn't feel good and I couldn't find anything that was effective but not too harsh. Just um, wanted something that worked and this is definitely it. So. That's it guys, I hope this was helpful um, and I will probably do an updated skincare routine video very soon because I truly believe that it makes all the difference in the world to have good skin. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and definitely check it out. I don't know if I said the price of the products but the cleanser is 8 ounces, it's $35, I think I said that, I didn't think I talked about the moisturizer which is 1.7 ounces so it's about the same size as this, as the Dior. It's also 1.7 ounces. The packaging is great on this, by the way. Um, it's 1.7 ounces for like around $50. I think it's $48 on Sephora. But definitely worth it. The Dior is like $56 or $58. So it's even a little bit cheaper than that. Um, but yeah, check it out if you guys have time. And I hope that I'm going to have a little more time to do more videos this week. Because I think work is manageable. Okay, that's it. Guys, I will talk to you later. Hope you have a good night. Bye.